Greetings and salutations, Geo Nerds. This little exploration is about the North Pine Fault System. Oh yes, Geo Nerds, we have a great big old fault system right in our, literally in some cases, own backyards. So come with me and we'll tiptoe through the tulips of this amazing geological feature together. And you know what I'm gonna say. Let's, Let's rock. rock. This is a complex of faults, over eight all up, that runs from the Brisbane suburb of Dutton Park right up to behind Maribor, over a lot of southeast Queensland. It's visible in the landscape if you know where to look and forms the backbone of Brisbane's northern suburbs. This is not a geology course and I'm deliberately not using a heap of Latin geo-nerd words, but I will explain some where needed. The North Pine Fault System in South East Queensland belongs to a series of north-northwest striking sinistral faults that displace Paleozoic and Cenozoic rock units in Eastern Australia. Hey, you said no geo-nerd words, or Latin. Okay, okay, don't get your knickers in a knot. It's a big crack <laughs> in the rocks running from around Dutton Park in Brisbane South to Nilly Gimpy. It's not a simple crack, it's a series of cracks, or faults, along the same stress lines. A fault is described by strike and dip. Strike and dip refer to the orientation or attitude of the feature in the landscape. The strike is the line of a bed or fault the direction of the fault is facing on a compass. The dip gives the steepest angle of descent of a tilted bed or feature relative to a horizontal plane. You know, how steep it digs into the ground and it's given by a number from zero to minus 90 degrees. As well as a letter, north, south, east or west, with a rough direction that the bed is dipping. And sinister and dexterous, they're just a fancy pants way of saying left and right, if you were a Roman. <laughs> this fault is old. No one knows exactly how old. Geology doesn't work like that, but in context, it breaks Paleozoic, Mesozoic and Cenozoic rocks. And you guys all know what that is now. Okay, I know, I know, but I did tell you you needed to understand a little geological time to get this vault system. So go and watch the T-Rocks Geological Times Part 1 and 2 if you need a refresher. The North Pine Fault System has undergone movement with offsets ranging from 3.4 to 8.2 kilometres, depending on where you are on the fault. The North Pine Fault System is also likely to have been active during the Mesozoic and is thought to have reactivated during the late Cretaceous Early Eocene in response to regional extension associated with the opening of the Tasman and Coral Seas. This is residual stress from Winslandia. New Zealand is the bit of that that's above the water nowadays, left us in the very, very old days. Pulling away from us, it tore the side of Australia like toffee. It had to give somewhere. Bloody Kiwis. Here I've drawn the fault location onto a modern satellite view. As you can see, it cuts through North Bris Vegas all the way to the North Pine Dam, chucks a left, sinisterly, and makes a beeline for Kilcoy and parts beyond. Note the building of the North Pine Dam on the fault line is an, well, interesting idea. Here is a higher res map of inner Brisbane with the fault line on it. It pretty much runs between the new go-between bridge and the rail bridge, heads up through the Normanby, St. Bridget's Church, to the north. When they were digging the centenary tunnel, they crossed the Normanby Fault, which is the North Pine Fault. The rock changes from the Bunyafillite to the Naranlee Fernvale beds, and basically greenstone and argillite, right at this boundary. And believe me, it's complex. These rocks and faults are shattered and they're really old. Anyway, I'll, uh, we'll get some uh, street views now and I'll show you how you want to go and find it. 
how you can do it. Okay, Geo Nerds, here we are on our first field trip. This is Musgrove Road in at Red Hill. That's St Bridges, the beautiful church. And what we're doing here is we're trying to work out just where we cross the fault. And by the look of the rocks over the road, they are still very much narrowly Fernvale, Argillites, and uh, other siltstones. So, yeah, there's Guitar Brothers, but we haven't crossed the fault yet. Now, this is a cutting just over the road. Big whack of Argillite up there. That's obviously not Bunyophilite, so we haven't crossed the fault yet. But wait for it. It's coming. So... Here's a close-up of some of that uh, argillite. It's just not phyllite, is it? It looks like petrified wood, which it isn't. Uh, it's just multicoloured siltstones and clays. You can get your pocket knife and just flip this stuff open. There's almost no silica in it. It's just the way it is. So if we just move up the road a little bit further, the cutting, you know, I love these road cuttings. Again, that is just big chunks of narrowly Fernvale rock. We have not crossed the, the uh, fault yet, but it's close very close and look what we've got here in federal street just around the corner that is brisbane phyllite phyllite look at the quartz in it that we have crossed the fault now the fault doesn't run across the road nicely as you'd want it to it actually you know runs along a bit and if we go up the road a little bit to the red hill pharmacy and just pass there this is the little off cut on um uh, Musk on um sanford road not sanford road is that uh, that is waterworks road if we go down here, you can see those rocks are actually made out of like that, that wall, but look what it's built on. A great big piece of bedrock, and it is all phyllite. It's metamorphic, you can see it. It's full of silica, uh, probably uh, microlorian silica. Microlarian? Microlarian silica, we'll call it that. And uh, yeah, this is definitely phyllite. It's a great big slab of it with some really nice looking quartz i see quartz gnarly like that i just want to crush some of that up and see if there's any gold in it you know old habits die hard but uh yeah so there it is so the fault is somewhere in federal street and that's really what the maps say the north point fault runs way to the north and the next place we can access it is where it crosses the jinkin track on the border of everton hills at albany creek greetings geo nerds here we are out on the jinkin track over the north side of Brisbane and we're standing on the North Pine Fault. All that rock you see over there is narrowly Fernvale rock, quite obvious. The beds all head upward, they're all being pushed upwards and just down the road there that next cutting is all Brisbane Firelight and the beds are all a totally different plane. But anyway, this is where it occurs. The next place we get to see it is way out at Joiner where it crosses Wind Road, nearly in the North Pine Dam. Uh, we used to call this Samsonville Road when I was a kid, but that's wrong. It's actually Wind Road, and the geology is really stark. So here we have a nice road cutting to the east of the uh, place on Wind Road where the North Pine Fault crosses it. As you can see, it's beautiful red clay soil. This is the pea tree formation. It's responsible for Northside's agriculture, all the sugarcane industry, all the things that happened it's this soil that did it. And just to the west of that, once we cross it, you can see then we've got this, what is pretty obviously bunyophyllite. And uh, I've got two formations here I've taken. They're just obviously bunyophyllite. It's full of uh, silica, etc. And this is the last place we can see the North Pine Fault in Brisbane. After this, it heads up through the uh, uh, north of Petrie and along the Mount Mee line and up into Kilcoy. Hey, just a quick factoid, Geo Nerds. The Normanby Rum Distillery was on the banks of the South Pine River, right where the back car park of Westfields is today. It was there because it had good access to both the river and the rail line, and sugarcane was first grown up Caboolture Way back in 1865. This farm failed, but by 1870 it was booming in the North Pine area, as Strathpine was then known. There were several mills with distilleries attached. They went through a period of consolidation and the winner was the Port Royal Mill and Distillery, later renamed to Normanby. Initially the sugar was grown at Strathpine, but as the cane fields gave way to other uses, 
housing, etc., the sugar, molasses actually, was barged in from Bean Lee, up the South Point River, hence the southern bump in the old Hornybrook Bridge. And you can still see the remains of the wharves in the river today. And of course, why was cane growing there? Geology! The Petri Formation produces fantastic red loamy soils, and the South Pine River banks were perfect for this crop. OK GeoNerds, you've had your serving of GeoSoup for this week. Next time, the geology of the University of Queensland. It's very diverse, there's history, a murder, and more sugarcane. And remember, small mountains are not funny, they're hilarious. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this stuff, and hey, you made it this far, please help us to poke the algorithm and smash that like button like it's Space 1999. And if you want to see more, subscribe and share this with, say, a thousand of your closest friends. And let's see just how far that little algorithm can go before its CPU explodes. Copy you later. Shh.